Hello everybody and welcome to the first posting of the Language Teaching and Learning channel. This is why it's called LTL. Uh, my name is Santiago Proaño. I'm an English teacher and a teacher trainer. And I, be, I will be posting weekly videos sharing my experience and that of other teachers uh, when it comes to dealing with certain situations that arise in the classroom. Uh, we will be sharing tips, suggestions, comments and interviews with you. However, today is a very, very special day. Uh, here it's uh, April the 13th, which is Teacher's Day. In other parts of the world it's already afternoon or evening. Uh, and I would like to take this opportunity to wish all of you English teacher colleagues and friends a very, very, very happy day. And for that reason, I'm not going to be talking shop today. Okay, I'm going to be doing something different. Uh, and you can use this as an activity, as a listening activity with your students. And I will be posting also a worksheet. And uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, uh, my favorite group, which you probably already guessed uh, from the t-shirt and uh, all the things around here. And if you could see the rest of the room, you'll find that there are a lot of uh, there is a lot of material related to the Beatles, so I'm a Beatle fan and I'm going to share this with you. We're going to go through their discography and uh, making some comments and so on and I'm, I'm pretty sure you will enjoy it, uh, whether you are a Beatle fan or not. I first, uh, the first, my first memory I have of the Beatles is uh, I have two cousins that are older than me and the older one, uh, when I was very really young here in Ecuador, he showed me an album and he was so excited and he said, look, this is the latest album from this band and blah, blah, blah. It was nothing special for me, I was different. At that time, the, the albums had a picture of the artists in there and they were posing in front of whatever. In this case, they weren't really posing, they were crossing a street. And to me, it was like, what the heck is that, uh, four people crossing the street? But he was very excited about it. For me, it was, you know, I was still very young. I wasn't really that much into music, so yeah, whatever. Uh, you, uh, if you're a Beatles fan, you know which album I'm talking about. We'll, we'll check that later on. But uh, uh, pretty soon after that, my, uh, uh, my parents took me to Canada. And then, uh, you know, we were there for a little while. And uh, uh, in that time, communication wasn't the same as it is now. We, you know, you have internet and everything else. In that time, you had letters or uh, cassettes, right? Uh, everybody had a little machine with a microphone and you record it uh, and uh, songs or whatever and you sent it to your, to your friends and, uh, and uh, family, whatever. But uh, it took about two weeks, you know, so I, I, I recorded a cassette, sent it to my family, it took two weeks to get there, and then they recorded something back, I was two weeks till I got it, and so on. And in one of those cassettes, my cousin, my, other, my younger cousin, he sent me um, the, the first song that I really, really, really liked from the Beatles. And uh, I remember him very clearly saying, uh, if you have a girlfriend, please dedicate this song to her. I'm sure she's going to like it because it's a very romantic song. And it is by a, a famous American group called the Beatles. Of course, I didn't know at the time, but of course, they're not American. But I can see why his confusion. This is from a deck of cards from the Beatles. And uh, you can see there, this is a 19, from a 1964 photo session. The Beatles are standing in front, I'm, I'm sorry, they're posing in front of a, an American flag. So this is why, probably one of the reasons why people were confused of where they were from. Uh, but anyway, this, the song that he recorded was, And I Love Her. Of course, he, makes it, he said all this in Spanish and I like that song very much. And I'm pretty sure that was probably the first album that I bought from the Beatles a couple of years later on. But anyway, let me, uh, without further ado, let's uh, start with the discography here. This is not an official Beatles album, okay? This is before they were famous. And uh, fortunately, I came across it like then. Uh, it's a French album, well, from France, but it, it's all in English. At that time, they were not famous. They were called the Silver Beatles. 
Uh, there was the three of them, uh, uh, Paul McCartney, John Lennon, and uh, George Harrison. Ringo Starr had not joined yet. Tony Sheridan had heard of them, and he liked the way they played, so he approached them. He was already famous. They were not so famous. And he asked them if they, if he could, if they could play in his next album. And they said, okay, we'll play if you let us play a couple of songs, of our own songs. And they reached an agreement. And uh, so if you are a Beatles fan, you'll know, for example, My Bonnie is considered one of their first uh, songs. But it was really with Tony Sheridan. And uh, the song that, one of the songs that they, their own songs that they played here was called Cry for a Shadow. Obviously in that time, you see, you couldn't find that music at all. Now you can find it anywhere and, uh, you know, once you have like the, the Beatles Anthology 1 and 2 and 3, you actually had access to that, to those songs finally at last, but back then you, do, you didn't have that. And um, anyway, also the, the, the records that came out, um, the releases were different in the, in the UK and in the United States and Canada. They were different. An example is, you see, this is the, in, in the UK, this was the first Beatle album. Okay, it's a, 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 Please Please Me. It's with the Beatles. And the picture is probably recognizable later on, we'll talk about that. But this was the first album in, in North America. The songs are exactly the same, as a, but if you check the second CD, of course CDs didn't exist then, so these are new versions. See the pictures are exactly the same, however, the songs that are included here are different from the ones here. Okay, Here in the, in the album you have uh, I Want to Hold Her Hand, which was the, the song that made the Beatles enter into America and be, uh, girls especially went crazy. I want to hold your hand. I saw her standing there, you know, classics. So that was their first album. Then we went to the second album. And here they had a couple of what we call covers nowadays. For example, Roll Over Beethoven, Long Tall Sally. Okay. This was their second American album. And then we go to the third one, which was Twist and Shout. And here have some really, really beautiful songs, for example, Anna, Chains, P.S. I Love You, Baby It's You, and so on. Okay, and then we get to The Beatles, The Hard Day's Night, which is from their first movie also. And this is the album that has the song that I told you about, yeah, And I Love Her. Please listen to it, it's a beautiful song. And this is also from the first album. Uh, very famous, uh, if you see the video or if you know about it, it's um, in, the, in the opening scenes you have the Beatles running from the uh, crowd uh, chasing them because they, they, were, they went crazy for them. And there's a part in which they are running in the streets of London, I believe, and George Harrison falls. And that's the funny part. Um, anyway, time flies when you're having fun. So. Uh, unfortunately, I want to make these uh, videos very long because I know how busy you are and uh, I would like them to be uh, more like a little entertaining uh, and uh, that you can watch them when you, when you need a little break from all your teaching. So that's why I don't want to make them very long. Uh, so uh, we will stop here now and uh, the next entry we will continue with the rest of, of the Beatles. Meanwhile, please uh, stay safe from this uh, terrible disease that is attacking the world. And um, I'll be looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you very much. Happy Teacher's Day again. Take care.